Now one may look at the Jupiter and the redstone and think to themselves, surely they cannot be related. But this would be very wrong. So Jupiter is a very simplistic rocket externally. It has no external control surfaces. It has a blunt nose. Meanwhile, redstone has lots of control surfaces and has a very pointy nose. So how could these be related? Well, they were both children of Werner von Braun. And in many ways, the Jupiter is a direct evolution of the redstone. Redstone was created for the purpose of being able to reach as far as possible into Soviet uh, army-controlled territory and nuke things like command structures, uh, radars, uh, troop concentrations, artillery batteries, and uh, other nuclear weapons of the Soviets. Whereas Jupiter was meant to do the same thing, albeit at dramatically extended ranges. And really Jupiter is a great example of the remarkable advancements taking place within the uh, rocket engineering world between the 1950s and 1960s. So if we look in here, this rocket engine as far as like bell design and whatnot looks you know, not a whole lot different than anything else you'd see today. I mean, Merlin 1D, the most used rocket engine these days, has a uh, exhaust that doesn't look that much different than this guy. So this would be open up, and uh, the the exhaust from the turbine, which powers this whole thing, you can't really see it. On this one, you can see a lot better. You see the exhaust on Thor, just uh, sticks out right there. And uh, this is the exhaust from the pre-burner, which powers the whole thing. Whereas if we go over here, now of course the engine within uh, Redstone is not there. But we can show you what it would sort of look like later. Uh, it'd look much more different. And instead of having uh, a gimbling nozzle, it's got these beautiful thrust vanes to manipulate the thrust. And uh, these control surfaces to do a similar job that would be done simply by maneuvering the nozzle on Jupiter. Uh -oh. Now, Jupiter was a step too far because Jupiter began to encroach into the mission that was being conducted by Strategic Air Command. Now, Strategic Air Command wanted all the weapons that could threaten uh, Russia itself and thought the U.S. Army didn't deserve such things. So, Jupiter was stolen from the Army by the Department of Defense and given to the Air Force, who already had their own intermediate range ballistic missile. The Thor, which was worse in pretty much every aspect compared to Jupiter, it was uh, not mobile and required uh, pre-built launch sites. It had a blunt body re-entry vehicle instead of an ablative re-entry vehicle, so it was less accurate as it had a greater time during re-entry, which meant more time to uh, go off target. Uh, but ultimately, both of them wouldn't be made off.